Hello and welcome back to JSA TV Live. We are the live streaming news platform for Data Cloud USA and we are back again, once again in sunny Austin, Texas where we're having a beautiful day and a wonderful Data Cloud USA experience so far. I'm Keely Dorian, joining me right now on JSA TV Live we have Gerard Niraj Shah, excuse me, Senior Vice President and Director of Sales and Business Development for IX Africa. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, so it's good. We hope you're having a wonderful conference so far, but let's, let's just dive right in. Can you just talk to us a little bit about IX Africa's HyperCloud Ready um, campus in East Africa? Yeah, sure. Um, basically, it's a HyperCloud uh, campus, 22 and a half megawatts of IT power. It's the first in East Africa and very credible to scale up in a big way. So it was a big project that we've done. Uh, we're just about ready for, um, for service that's going to be in January of 2023 with four and a half megawatts and then we'll scale it up. So yeah, big project, fantastic uh, land area, huge, huge hyperscale uh, opportunity. So definitely some exciting things to come. Absolutely, absolutely. The first in the country, the first in the region, first in East Africa. So yeah, we've got a lot of good things to look forward to and the hypers are now looking at what's going on. So absolutely a market that's, that's really emerging in a big way. Absolutely. So can you talk to us a little bit about how this new campus will just play into the overall advancement of network infrastructure yeah, in Africa? So basically, uh, data centers are the hub and the core of uh, internet as it goes. So with internet coming closer, it brings the internet closer to the people. Uh, so content is now going to be available within East Africa, within Kenya, within Nairobi. So in that way, it's enhancing the network in such a big way. And so connectivity becomes easier. You have a lot more content on hand. There's a lot more um, availability of all sorts of uh, cloud applications right there. So there is no latency. We're actually reducing that element of latency for connectivity. So why Kenya? I'm sure there was a strategic, very strategic um, method behind the madness there. Well, first thing, Kenya is just a beautiful country. It's great, yes. Yeah, so that's a plus on its own. It comes as a benefit, no doubt. But Kenya is very, very uh, centrally located on the East African coast. There are quite a few subsea cables coming into Mombasa. And uh, Africa is just undergoing a massive transformation digitally, right? So cloud applications are growing quite a bit. And Kenya is a technical hub, Nairobi is the hub itself, uh, so Kenya is is ideally situated, and IX Africa is located in a very, very strategic uh, position, so it can actually uh, enhance this whole uh, growth of digital technology. The other element is that Kenya is actually, Nairobi for that matter, is elevated at 6,500 feet, so uh, it's actually very cool. It's the ideal climate for a uh, efficient data center. So having looked at all these parameters, we realized that this is the ideal location to be in. So apart from Nairobi being the technological hub, we're also going to be building a, or have built, a very, very efficient data center. So we look at a PUE of 1.25. That's something that pulls in the hypers. So it's something that we've looked at. Uh, and then again, it's situated very centrally. So to connect to different countries, it's quite close. So we have from Kenya a market of 400 million people. Now, when the hypers start looking at that, uh, yep, yeah, that, that makes sense. So I think that's the reason. And actually, well, you know, decided on Kenya. Um, so that is an impressive PUE, and I want to dig into that for just a moment. So let's talk about sustainability and, and more efficiently run data centers overall. That's a big pillar for you as you are advancing and developing. Can you share just a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So PUE, you know, 1.25 is fantastic. It's, yeah, I think the average in Europe right now is about 1.4. Uh, so 1.25 is something that we've, we've strived to get. Uh, and that's because of the, f the method, the design of the data center, the fact that we're using a, a very um, different cooling method, adiabatic, indirect adiabatic chilling. And uh, as I mentioned, Nairobi is based at 6,000 feet. So between the months of May and September, we're dropped to 12 degrees centigrade, it's free cooling. So we can achieve that 1.25. And you know, perhaps as we go along with more technology coming in, we'll try and reduce that to further. That's the ambition, but that's one of the reasons. From a sustainability point of view, Kenya's energy is green, uh, predominantly geothermal, hydroelectric, and then a little bit of solar and a little bit of uh, wind. So we're green as it is, and that's another plus point. 
uh, for the hypers to come in or for any other enterprise that's willing to look at how they can reduce their impact on the, on the climate. Um, and then we have something called Keep It Africa. Keep It Africa is a mantra that we've got in place where we try to have a very sustainable supply chain. So we are reducing our carbon footprint by making sure we've got everything available within the country. If not the country, then the region. And then finally we can go out. But that idea is to grow and develop the uh, entire economy as it is for us, or at least to boost it. And that's one of the key issues that we have. We have waste, wastewater management, because we use a lot of water to, you know, to cool. Well, not a lot, but you know, we'll recycle it. So we have in every aspect, uh, uh, you know, keep it Africa, sustainability in place. And then obviously we'll have our own solar to generate for our administrative uh, costs and all that. We've involved our um, community around us. So we'll have a lot of planting of trees, a lot of uh, recycling. All that's going to be available to the, to the economy, to the to the community. Such an important thing and we're so glad to hear that you're doing that. So, um, last question before we let you go and then we'll let you get back to your data cloud experience, but can you just talk in general about the, uh, the leadership team at IX Africa? You have a lot of really great experienced individuals who are um, coming up with some great solutions as we have just talked about here. Yeah, I, I call it the dream team, to be honest. You know, Guy Wilner is our chairman. He's had a lot of experience. Uh, very knowledgeable in the data center industry. He's been there since 1998. Uh, Andrew Hunt, our CFO, has been was co-founder and co-investor in Terraco. So a lot of uh, knowledge there again. Um, there's Clément Martineau, who's involved in the build of the uh, entire data center. He's uh, one of the guys who actually brought in one of the cables, Line 2, and he was involved in building that uh, station, uh, subsea station. And uh, Naresh Mehta is ex-CEO of Schneider Kenya. So he's got a lot of knowledge and ability in uh, power and electronics. And I, I do my leadership management and the commercial element, which uh, works well. So I call it the dream team. It's an amazing team. And it's, we, we work really well together. But certainly a lot of vision from Guy. And um, you know, um, it's, it's, actually, it's, it's, it's actually fun to work with IX Africa. <laughs> so it's the dream team. Well, if people want to learn more about the Dream Team or IX Africa or all of the great things that you have going on, where should we send them? Nairobi, Kenya. <laughs> and and, if, the and if they can't go there. Yeah, the website, ixafrica.co.ke. You get all the information from there. It's all there. Or contact me. I'm available. Uh, Nirad Shah at ixafrica.co.ke. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here at Data Cloud and at JSA TV Live. And as always, to our viewers, thank you for tuning in and happy networking. Thank you.